I don't know. Did you um see Stephen A. and what he had to say about Kamala? She's ducking the press. Three weeks and one day since Joe Biden stepped aside. The only damn place we've seen Kamala Harris is at, is at pep rallies. You running for the presidency of the United States of America. What you hiding for? Well, I mean, again, I mean, everybody want her to talk because Trump is willing to get in front of the camera to keep things hot. She's 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 allowing him to fall on his face, and all they doing is getting the intel on his ass. So when she comes out and she get the press what they want, talk to him and she like it's gonna be so substance to where it's gonna be night and day. See the thing about it is she's controlling this narrative. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She's not allowing the media to control the narrative, which I love that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So you got on one hand, you got Trump. He's always got his face in front of the media because he's ranting. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he's not spitting no facts or none of that shit. And you got on the other hand, somebody that's really playing it cool, playing it cool mm-hmm. and they're just going around doing rallies and just letting him trip on his face because for him to have, quote, unquote, uh, the advantage by being up in front of the cameras, he's not really saying anything. He hasn't put out no policy. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say, you, you probably going to get happy when I say this. To me, you know what this is? What's, What's that? that? This is Kendrick Lamar and Drake. <laughs> <laughs> which one is which? Oh, uh, 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 we know who <laughs> is if which. If you, nah. Drake, Trump, Trump, Trump is Drake. Trump is like, you know. Trump is Drake. When Drake, when oh, the beat okay. started, Drake was Kamala, out and he, he was in the front. Is he, he was out in the front, <laughs> like, you know, like poking, like, okay, boom, like this. And, you know, Kamala, like, you know, hey, just wait. Because she has a lot of stuff going. She, like he said, she's controlling her narrative. The DNC still next week. Right, exactly. The so DNC it's, it's no, it's no still need, it's next no, week. It's no need for right now to say anything. You ain't got to jump put, ahead she, of nothing. She put it all out on the platform on the DNC. And okay, then once yeah, the put, DNC is uh, next she, week. Right, so, she's dropping a plan, I believe, tomorrow, I think they said. Okay, this. I got the information. The plan is going to be related to the Harris housing plan, including construction of 3 million units and the 25000 down payment system. Uh, it's, she's set to announce a plan to lower housing costs and end the housing shortage through construction of new units and down payments uh, to in uh, down payment support to first-time home buyers. So she, in addition to the 3 million new units, uh, there's going to be a $40 billion innovation fund for local governments to build housing. Uh, And the plan will also include a $25,000 down payment support for first-time home buyers and uh, home renters who paid their rent on time for two years and are buying their first home would be eligible for the down payment assistance. So... That's part of her plan. See, part of the plan come out. So what Trump coming out with? Like, so you niggas who but, got something to say, she already putting out some but, substance. But put it like this. And this is, this is just how I see it. If, if you're not going to vote for her, you're just not going to vote for her. That's just that. It's no, it's no really having people change sides. I mean, but, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, A lot he, of people's minds are made up on Yeah, but her. how can you have your mind made up and you haven't because heard of, nothing come because, out of mouth? Because, A, she's a woman. So some guys take that like a okay, woman I, can't run. Okay, cool. Run. I, 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 I'll take that from okay. a man. I'm talking about from a woman's perspective. Yeah. Why would any woman, it doesn't matter what color you are, would have a problem with voting for her? That's the that's where I'm coming at. Because oh, with women, I have no 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 idea why a woman. Well, we had one last week. Like, we had one last I, I week that I mean, was but, speaking but, but highly she, against. Like you said, she's entitled to her opinion. Yeah, you're entitled. You're entitled to your opinion, but I'm just saying, like, there's no solidarity. It's it's so, the, you have people. I mean, cut you off. You got mm-hmm. people saying that don't vote because of the color. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I'm no, voting oh, because wait, of, wait, of the wait, color. Wait. But you, you you should because why? The motherfucking white folks vote for Trump because he's white. Yeah, that. But I'm just so, sometimes you want to be on the right side of history, and, 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 yes, and this is you want to break one, certain. Right. You want to break certain ceilings. I'm tired of hearing a woman can never be president here, but I want to break that ceiling. If I'm you, tired of hearing that a woman of color can't be president. We heard that about a man of color. Let's break that ceiling, and then with her, she's just. 
we know what Trump's about. We've already had four years of the him. The one thing, the one thing that people are also not understanding that she has on her side, she's part of a Greek organization now. The Divine Nine, exactly. So part of that, and all the other Greeks associations, a huge voting block. That's a view, huge voting block, and you know they ground. That's grass grassroots right there as far as organization community work. So she has a big advantage on her side. All she got to do is get her message out. As long as her message loud and clear, it will drown out any okay. other BS. Speaking of her message, she is set to release her economic agenda tomorrow, mm-hmm. and it's going to be here in Raleigh. Mm-hmm. Oh, so she's outlining Ooh. her plans at an event in Raleigh, North Ooh. Carolina, a pivotal battleground Man, state. Listen. So they're going to be here a lot. And listen. my thing is, she's going to win North Carolina. I she, just said she, it. She, she will. I just said. My it. thing oh. is this: it's for the black men. Sometimes I look at black men when they're like, "I'm not going to vote for her." Man. And what really sits with me when they say that is, unless she was abused by your mama, that means you ain't trust your mama. Nah, that that's not where I'm going. I'm not saying what 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 I'm saying is for the black men who have daughters. You know the most powerful thing to tell one of our black sons growing up was you could be president. Then you, oh, see you, Barack, do you can do anything you, you want. You see to Barack do. Obama. This is probably more powerful than telling your black sons that you could be president. Uh, just, it's telling it's your black as, it's daughter. It's just as powerful. It, it's just as, if I think maybe a little bit more powerful, it's telling your black little girl that it is possible that you could possibly become president one day. I possibly. think that's a super powerful message. So when I hear black men be like, oh, no, I'm not voting for her, and they be so, I'm like, why? Right. Like I, I, I why be like, not? Why? You, if you got a black, if you have a black woman for a partner, whether she's your wife, or girlfriend, hell, your mama, your grandmother, I'm like, you trusted them. So why can't you think? Why wouldn't you think that motherly black love? She wouldn't, you know, do right by her by her people. Now people will say, oh, she didn't identify herself when? As, as being black. When? But it, when? when? when, when when? Oh, that's been plenty of times. When? When? I've always heard her identify herself as biracial. But on top of that, I know a black person when I see a black person. Right. You cannot. I know a nigga when I see right. a nigga. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't tell can't. me that. First of all, if you got a smidget of black in you, I don't give a damn. You white, South Asian, whatever. You are a nigga. Who's my girl? Black. Who's black. my girl married to the, the the boy in England? Um, we used to Meghan always Markle. talk. Yeah, yeah. Meghan Markle. Yeah. Now. We saw, oh, oh, that girl black. Yeah. I, I don't care how fair skinned she is. We all saw it. Yeah. We know right. black people. So, and then, like Dub said, like, I'm not going to let a white guy mm-hmm. determine her blackness. Her blackness. Uh-uh. I'm not going to let that, that uh-uh. happen at yeah, all. Wow. Like, don't I don't care that, what don't people say. Call. I'm not going to let that happen. So, to me, it's like it's almost a little bit of racism involved. Oh, racism. oh, it's definitely That's it. racism, sexism. It's Trump. You know, it, it's all that. Is, and all just is as, as a father of a daughter and just of a person who has some types of ethics, like, nah. Like, nah. This, I want somebody you can look at as president and and – them look presidential. Even Bush looked presidential. I mean, can we really say, I mean, <laughs> let's let's be real. Can we really say there's ethics? Like, how the fuck this country was created? That wasn't created off of but, ethics. But but nevertheless, I mean, you you learn from your mistakes. Goal. That's fool's goal when you speak in that. You, you know what I'm saying? You learn from your mistakes and you still want people to do better. Yeah, we came from that. We and we can't hide from what we came from, but we can be better than what we were. I mean that's all a fair game, and that is. But you gonna like I say, it has to be some balance there because sometimes you can't go in thinking like, yeah, if you do right, things gonna work out right. And sometimes that ain't the case, and, you know and that's true. Mm-hmm. I'm a firm believer in that because my 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 whole thinking was like that, and I learned quick. 18, learn quick as hell, like, uh, no. And all the thing I was doing was just simply speaking up for myself mm-hmm. because I'm speaking up for myself to this white coach. He's like, oh, oh, this this nigga here that he talking to me, I'm about to get it set his ass straight. <laughs> I mean, real talk. You feel what I'm saying? Because you never know. I was that talented of a football player. I could have been in the NFL, whatever. But he felt like he had that final say about how it would determine how to do. So I'm a firm believer. There are cases, right? When we go to sports later, we go to talk. Cause I was like, I, 
I, there's no way I could have been in the NFL. And I'm going to tell you why, but we'll talk about yeah. that later. So, man. you know, so there there are cases where, you know, saying things supposed to go A, B, C, D, that's not the case. Because sometimes somebody got to go all the way to Z, then come back to A and shit like that. You know, like me, for instance, going against the grain has always worked for me. That's not saying that everybody can do that. Whatever works, your, whatever floats your boat that makes it happen, fine. I'm always telling people this. Don't hesitate to think outside the box. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Well, we look forward to uh, Kamala being in Raleigh tomorrow. Kamala. Yeah. Kamala. 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 Hey, you Kamala. think we should go to the rally? Kamala. How do we even get to the rally? I don't even know. I, I don't know, I don't know if we... Gonna be yeah, like traffic going to be a it at? It's go- well, It's most likely going to be in the fairgrounds where they normally have it. Right, right around my crib, so I'm going to be hearing a lot of sirens. And you know what's crazy? I'm going to tell you the craziest thing about this election. Any other election, if one of the ca- candidates would have been almost assassinated, they would have won easily. Yeah. Who walked in the presidency? Like, there's no way they could have lost because they almost got assassinated. The emotional, you know, people. This man almost died. And he wow, about he to got lose. You got a lot of people that probably, you know, let's <laughs> call it. He like almost yeah, got yeah. shot and killed, and he about to lose this election. That is crazy. Just think about that. Yeah. Anybody else would have won this election probably. just off that alone. Right. Okay. I mean, he just, that just goes to show he just did so much fuck shit. How much like, people don't like don't this like man. Him, man. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Well, we're going to keep it moving.